Welcome back to another edition of V. Gandalf Demystifies. Today we're going to demystify connecting my NSX management console to Active Directory so that I can use Active Directory users to then manage my NSX console. It'll be all uh, uh, arranged appropriately. And then we're going to look at how in NSXT 3.1, we now have the ability to customize some roles. Previous editions, we could only use the existing roles. Now we have the ability to customize it. Why don't we jump right in and take a look? Notice we're in policy and that we're going to go ahead into system and go to the users and roles. We can go ahead and, and switch over to LDAP. You can see I'm logged in as admin. Now I'm going to switch over to LDAP and add an ident uh, identity source. This is going to be Middle Earth. And the fully qualified domain name <laughs> is actually Middle Earth. Imagine that, right? And, and I'm going to use my pretty standard users for uh, uh, the DN will be CN users. Uh, DC middle and DC earth and uh, we'll use uh, uh, the description and while it, it's really not necessary I just uh, uh, I'll just paste the same names used to be we put our users in one place and our groups in another and it's the same so I'll just use the same thing in there. Uh oh I just saw something uh, cancel here DC equals Middle Earth. Ah, I'm glad I caught that. DC equals Middle Earth. Okay, now that looks right. So I'll go ahead and set my LDAP server, and I'm going to, that's, it's control center, control center, yeah, I can spell me dot Middle Earth, and it's LDAP, it's 30, uh, 389 I can check status that's not going to work because I need administrator at middle earth is the administrator for that and he's got a very secure password and I will now check it it failed because there was no credentials so control center me at middle earth LDAP 389 administrator at middle earth and that should work. And it did. Yay! <laughs> Always good. <laughs> Always good to actually work. So I'll add that in. I've got that and I can apply it. And now if I save that, I'll now be able to go in and do a couple of things. One thing I'm going to do is go over here to users and I'm going to add a user. There we go. Uh, Middle Earth will be my domain and I'm going to look for V Gandalf at Middle Earth. And I'm going to make him an enterprise minister. What else would you do with Gandalf, right? He's going to be an enterprise admin. And I'll save that. And since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add another role assignment. I'm going to make Tim, Tim be at Middle Earth, an auditor. Okay. And that'll be uh, basically just read-only capability uh, I'll change his role in a minute but for now I'm gonna do that and now I've got two new users now I'll, I'll just log off admin and I'm gonna log in as the Gandalf at Middle Earth and I've saved that password because I had it done a little earlier and he's in here and does he have any control well if I go in just to check and see, go to segments, and he has the ability to add segments. So at least I know he can do that. He can add a gateway. But what I'm going to look at now, the really neat thing that we can do is grab users and roles here. And let's look at roles. Because V. Gandalf is an administrator, he has the ability now to go in and add a role. And this will be a custom role which we couldn't ever do before. This is going to be the role for Tim. Okay, So this role is going to be, you know, pretty much read-only. I don't want Tim to be able to do a bunch, but I want to be able to get in and maybe make a few changes. 
For example, I could set him up and say, as far as the system is concerned, Tim could do backup and restore. I'll give him full access. I really wish we had a little more customization. I really wish Tim could just back up and not restore. So I'm changing my mind. I'm going to make that read only. I want to go in and just for experimental purposes, I'm going to say, you know what, as far as Tim is concerned, I am going to let him create segments. That's it. I'm going to let him have the ability to create segments. Everything else that he's gotten. Remember, he was an auditor before, right? So he could just read only on everything. But now I've got him the ability to create segments. Well, that's if I assign him that role. I made a custom role called custom role. I know that was kind of crazy. But I go in here and then say, let's go to Tim and edit him and give him that custom role. I'll take auditor away because he had read only on everything in that custom role except for segments. Okay, so I'll save him and then just to prove it, let's log in as Tim. So we'll log out as Gandalf, we'll log in as Tim, and we'll go in and be able to see. Now, can Tim change this? I'm actually going to try to find this out. Oh, he can't. He go back to light mode. See, he, he's, he doesn't have very good eyes, so he needs to go to light mode to make that happen. So he goes in now and goes to networking and goes to gateways. And, you know, he's got no ability for gateways and he can't edit gateways. But he goes into segments and lo and behold, he can add a new segment, right? He could do that. He could uh, go into Moria. He can edit the segment. So he's got full control over segments, but no control at all over Tier 1 gateways, Tier 0 gateways. So that is custom roles that we have offered and made more, uh, uh, more availability here, more controllability in our role-based access control in NSXT 3.1. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please come back for another one. Oh, what's the old line? Make sure you subscribe, please. Thanks, guys. See you next time.